In Arduino ID legacy versions, uploading files to little fs was simple. But in Arduino ID version 2 and above, that option is completely missing. Let's fix this step by step. Before we begin, here are the differences between two file systems of flash memory. Many users have reported this issue on the Arduino community forums. In ID version 2 and above, there is no official support for little fs upload, which makes it difficult to manage project files. But here's the good news. A community-developed plugin adds the missing little fs upload feature back into Arduino ID new versions. If you open the command palette with Control shift b you'll notice that the Upload files to little fs option is not available by default. To enable this, head over to GitHub page as shown here. This plugin specially designed for newer versions of the Arduino ID. Scroll down to the page for more information on how to install and use this plugin on Windows and macOS systems. The installation method for plugins has shifted to using .wsax files, which are copied to a plugins directory within the .arduino.id folder in your user directory. So to download the plugin, go to the release page and scroll down the page and search latest wsax file. Click on it and download it to the computer. Next, create a folder inside your Arduino IDE data directory, exactly as mentioned in the GitHub instructions. As suggested on the GitHub, you will have to create plugins folder to paste your downloaded plugin into it. Now head over to the download folder and copy the VSIX file and paste it into the plugins folder. That's it. Your task is completed. After restarting Arduino ID, open the menu again. You now see the option to Upload files to little f is available in the command palette. Let's test it with a custom sketch. Inside the project, I've placed some files in the data folder. First, I'll upload only the sketch. This sketch will check the files inside flash memory and display the status in the serial monitor. Select your board and hit Upload. Once the upload process completes, open the serial monitor. The serial monitor confirms that no files are available since nothing has been uploaded yet. Now, using the new option by pressing Ctrl Shift B, I'll upload the data folder to flash memory. Please ensure that your data folder must be placed inside current sketch folder and all files that you want to flash inside memory must be inside data folder. Once the upload process completes, you will get notified. All your files inside data folder are now flashed to the little fs memory. Since the files are now flashed to the memory, let's check the serial monitor again. The serial monitor now shows that all files are successfully available. 
We can also format the flash memory using a simple sketch. After uploading it, the memory is completely cleared. Once the format sketch uploaded, open the serial monitor, reset your board and your flash memory formatted. And if we run our demo sketch again, the serial monitor shows no files found, which confirms the flash memory has been wiped clean. So that's how you bring back LittleFS support in Arduino IDE. If this tutorial helped you, make sure to like the video and subscribe for more ESP32 and Arduino projects. Till then, I am DHK Dude, signing off.